you guys doing? We're playing with the slump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I got my baby all dirty. Baby, you're all dirty. Let's go see what daddy's doing. Hey, Ryan, what are you doing? I'm uh, just screwing together some pallets. Building something. Thanks to this purchase from a kind subscriber off of our wish list, now I have the proper tools that are making this project go so much faster. Whoa. Right? That's way better than your dying drill. Oh yeah, that old one kept dying. Uh, every other pallet, the battery was dead. This seems like it's getting the job done a lot faster. 100%. So that means we'll be filling up this area that much faster. I can't wait. You helping? No, I don't want you helping around these nails. I'm going to pick you up and bring you with me. We'll go plant something, okay? been busy all right so we're at the door stage you want to we're at the door me? stage and I had the idea if we flip the pallet up long ways and actually sink this 4x4 four four post and have it in the ground I can put the hinges on the 4x4 four four post to support the weight of the pallet that so would be much more secure for yeah. the forward door so I like that idea. The door will be totally secure and then we could put a latch down on one of the stronger points of that pallet. Excellent. And then I see that you put some of the roofing on Correct. and these guys. Yeah, those are just to brace the pallets. To, to give it a little extra support. Yep. This is like, this ain't going anywhere. That's not gonna move, is it? I don't think so. Hello, friendship. You're looking nice and fat. Don't know if you're nice and fat because you have so much grass to eat. <laughs> or if you're bred she was with a bull so there is a high probability of it we are going to get some fly predators in any day now and treat these flies in the pasture and wherever we can to try to keep them off of her. We've never had cows before, so we've never have seen this many flies like this on the animal. So we're definitely going to want to get that safely under control with as natural a method as possible. So we're going to start with the fly predators. I'm probably going to mix up a batch of my natural fly insect repellent and try to get her to let me spray her legs. I might have to use a wand sprayer to get close enough. I mean, she lets me pretty close, and when she's eating grain, she lets me pet her, but yeah, I don't want to start spraying her legs and have her get scared. <laughs> Why is it this grass right here that she likes the most when she has all this big, lush green grass? Weirdo. Mama, you look tired. Taking yeah. care of babies. Hard work, huh? Babies are doing great. Mama's doing well. Hello, Mama. How are your babies? Your girl's doing well? Yes. We had some really um, bad storms come through our area. They went through Carrollton and into Noonan and a very severe tornado touched down in Noonan. That same storm system came right over our farm and it got pretty rough out here. 
all of the animals took shelter in the shelter together and all we could do was just hope that everybody was staying dry and not too scared from the storm. There was a lot of thunder and lightning. Do you like standing in that dish? <laughs> you silly baby. Unfortunately, we did suffer one tragic loss. Apparently at some point in the night, um, when the animals were piling up on each other, trying to stay comforted from the storm, one of Rosemary's babies, her little buckling, Breeze, somehow got trampled. I have kept my goats in cohabitation the entire time I've had goats and I've never had this happen and I know that others have had it happen where a baby just gets buried underneath in the pig pile and or in this case goat pile I know others have had it happen and I was very heartbroken to see it happen here and I can only think that it must have been the dynamic of the storm just changed the pile up pattern that the goats normally have that were they're fine but sadly we did have a loss it's never easy life and death on the farm and we we encounter it well you know we with livestock you are going to encounter it, it it's just gonna happen peter what you want Peter's asking for a girl to come visit him, but we don't have anybody that we're going to be giving him anytime soon. We are done with breeding for a little while. We've got one more goat that's due on May the 4th that we're expecting babies from, and that should be it. There's a potential that two others were bred, but I don't think the breeding took. So we're just going to ride it out for the rest of the year and breed again in the fall. Holland and Georgia out in full force here. Thick, thick pollen everywhere. Well, I'll be, I think we are done. Got the door. We've got roof for the shelter. The door lock that we bought is just a little bit too short to run across right here. So we're gonna bring it back and get a new one, but we can use rope for now if we have to. This side is also secure and ready for our new homestead surprise. Has anybody guessed yet? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder what it could be. Any guesses? Stay tuned. You did an awesome job, Ryan. I'm proud of you. Thanks. What do you think, Odin? Did you come to supervise? <laughs> <laughs> come to tell us how it is? <laughs>